I'm Dr. Anna Saleh. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Metro Health, and I perform joint replacement surgeries, specifically hip and knee replacements. Today, I'm going to discuss hip replacement surgery and how to determine when it's time for surgery based on common symptoms and pain associated with your hip. You will know that it's time to consider hip replacement surgery if you're experiencing increasing pain in the hip area or discomfort and immobility from a previous hip injury or difficulty exercising uh, or any activity related pain and stiffness. Also, if day-to-day -day activities start causing pain or stiffness, such as putting on your shoes or your socks, you may also feel your hip joint clicking or popping or grinding, uh, all of which can impair your normal range of motion. And finally, if physical therapy, medications, and certain activity modifications haven't really improved your symptoms, then it's probably time for you to consider your surgical options. If you're a candidate for total hip replacement, you don't want to wait too long to have the surgery, as it will probably be more complex the longer you wait. As your joint continues to deteriorate and your mobility continues to decline, your health may worsen as well, such as you, you might gain weight, you, you might have poor cardiovascular health. Generally, patients who go into surgery healthier tend to have better outcomes. Recovery depends on the patient and their preoperative deformity and baseline conditioning. Typically, it's somewhere between two to six weeks, and most patients are satisfied by the six-week mark. I want to emphasize that it's important to maintain an active lifestyle, continue to walk in the early post-operative period. For more information about hip arthritis or total hip replacement surgery, you can visit metrohealth.org slash orthopedics or call to schedule a consult at 216-778-4393. Thank you.